I was, I was brought up in a Christian home, so I, I was brought up to believe in a white God. Right. But like I said, he's it, 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 not a white God in general, he's just God, God, you know what I'm saying, man? So you know what color of God is according to the Bible? Go, uh, go to Revelation 1, verse 14. We, we go there with the Bible. God is a black man according to the Bible. Right. Yes, you know, right. Christ looks just like his father. And he had hair wool in there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, we, before, now nah, hold that. Go to um, Daniel chapter 7, 9. I'm going to show you the color of Christ, the color of Mosai. Mosai got us a black man according to the Bible. He has woolly hair. He's like people. Chapter 7 and verse 9. Bring it I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. So this is Daniel. He's giving the description of the Mosai God. The Ancient of Days is God according to the Bible. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. So God is wearing a garment. So God has a body, according to the Bible. Read. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. So the hair of God's head is pure wool. Like yours, like the brothers, like my hair, like brother down here. God has pure wool, according to the Bible. And hey, hold that and go to Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. This right here is the biblical description of, of Christ right here. Bring it up. This image right here, this is Steve Javon This is a real person. This is Pope Alexander VI son. Like he's a rapist, a pedophile, a drunkard, a murderer. Yeah. This is the devil the Bible speaks of right there. Oh, that's, right. that's the image that, uh, the, that, that uh, the nation gave God. Yeah, that's, the, that's the image that the nations gave us. Okay. Gonna keep us in slavery. Yeah. But hold, hold, hold on one second. Read the Revelation 1 verse 14. Read. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is, uh, he's giving us the revelation, the revealing of Jesus Christ. Read which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible says Christ's head and his hair is white like wool. The hair on his head and the hair on his face was white like wool. This image right here is nothing like that, bro. This image has brown hair, blue eyes, brunette hair. That's a false image according to the Bible. Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Christ was like me and you. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. The Bible says Christ's eyes were as a flame of fire. Fire. You can read that in Genesis 49. You know, Christ, uh, his first miracle was turning water to wine. Christ drunk wine. That's why his eyes was red. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. The Bible says Christ's feet was like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Like gold. Yeah, yeah, brown, uh, uh, brass is a derivative of brown. You know, but listen to this right here, read. As if they burn in a furnace. So if you put anything brass into a furnace, what color does it turn? It turns darker, it turns blacker. So Christ is a dark skinned man according to the Bible. Read. And his voice as the sound of many waters. So Christ had a, a deep voice. Christ spoke to most of the people. So Christ wasn't this weak, simple Edomite right here. Christ was a strong black man according to the Bible. That's right. Hey, uh, any, more, any more questions? Uh, hey, go go to um, Judah. I mean, I mean, Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Like, the Israelites are black according to the Bible. Like, the prophets are black. King Solomon is black. Moses is black. But, um, what's your nationality? Uh, African-American. African -American. Okay, so you come from the tribe of Judah, according to the Bible. We're going to show you that the tribe of Judah is a black race, according to the Bible. Read. Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Read. Judah mourneth. The Bible says Judah mourneth. Like right now, the so-called blacks, we are mourning right now. You get, Yeah, we, we crying, we dying because we disobeyed the laws of Most High God. You go to our communities, we're killing each other. You go to Atlanta, remember Chicago, Milwaukee. LA, any city in the nation, we are in mourning. Why? Because we disobeyed the laws of the Most High God. Read. And the gates thereof languish. It says the gates thereof of language. That means our leadership. We have no leaders in our community. The Louis Farrakhan is not our leader. Um, Al Sharp is not our leader. Jesse Jackson, these so called pastors are not our leader. Our leaders are, are weak. Our leadership has fell down because we strayed from the Bible. Read. They are black. It says they are black. Read. Unto the ground. So the tribe of Judah is black unto the ground. So go to hold that go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. You know, because we made from the dust to the ground. Read. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man. This is going to the creation of man. Read. Of the dust of the ground. So the most I made man from the dust of the ground. So the deeper you go into the ground, the, the different shades of um, brown you get. 
The deeper you get, the blacker it gets, according to the Bible. Hey, um, what else you got? Okay, we go to like. A, like I said, the brother brought out that we're in our current condition because we disobeyed God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Hey, go to Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. You know, we have to keep these laws according to the Bible. There's a, like brothers brought out, there's a law of fringes. We have a dress code. We even have a, a law about our beard. You're not here. Read Leviticus 21, verse 5. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So uh, Moses is telling Israelites, we should not make baldness upon our head. Because while we was in Egypt, we was following the, we had to follow the custom of that nation. You know, it was a custom to shave your head, to shave your beards. But Moses told the Israelites, we cannot make baldness upon our head. We're supposed to be separate from other nations. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. So the Bible says we can't make baldness on our head or shave off the corners of our beards. Yeah. If you look up here, every... Well, they're different lengths, but every brother has a beard. Hey, go to uh, Leviticus 19, verse uh, 27. Read. Bring it out. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. Read. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thy murder the corners of, your, of thy beard. Yeah, see, the Bible is redundant. You know, if you read the Bible, it repeats itself. The Bible is a simple book to understand. We read, we read the Bible line upon line, precept upon precept. I read this verse to understand the next verse. Hey, but uh, what's the date? Of course. The date or the date? The date. Saturday. Hey, today's Saturday. But this is the seventh day of the week. According to God, this day is supposed to be set apart. It's supposed to be holy. There's no buying, working, or selling. I thought Sunday was the seventh day. No, Saturday is the seventh day. Pull out your calendar. You got a phone on you? Pull your phone out. Look at you. Pull, pull your calendar out. It counts from Sunday to Saturday. What day does Saturday fall on? What number is that? Go to Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Read. Starting on Sunday? Yeah. Start on Sunday, count from Sunday to Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. What day is it? Saturday. Seventh day Saturday. Seventh day, read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So Moses telling the Israelites to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. But we forgot about the Sabbath day. We profane the Sabbath day. We work, we buy, we sell. We do everything against the Bible on the Sabbath day. Read. Six days shall thy labor and do all thy work. So six days we shall labor and do all our work, meaning from Sunday up until Friday night, um, sundown, we can work. But Friday night through Saturday night is the Sabbath day according to the Bible. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. It says the seventh day. The seventh day is the seventh day for the Lord thy God. If you know a thing about Spanish, you know, um, Saturday means Sabados. You know, Sabbath is um, seven, according to the Bible. The seventh day. Read. And in it thou shalt do not any work. So no work according to the Bible. Uh, hold that. Go to um, Leviticus chapter 31, verse 16. Because the Sabbath day is a covenant between the Most High God and Israelites. You know, this is a perpetual covenant. And the word perpetual means ongoing, forever. You know, read. Oh, right. Leviticus chapter 31, verse 16. I mean, uh, 16, 31. Leviticus 16, 31. Leviticus chapter 16, verse 31. Leviticus chapter 16, and verse 31. Read. It shall be a Sabbath of rest unto you, and you shall afflict your souls by a statue forever. Read. So the, the Sabbath day is a is a, is a day we're supposed to afflict our souls. But there's no bond still in the work. Exodus chapter 31 and verse 16. Read. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath Read. to observe the Sabbath Read. throughout their generations. So we're so we supposed to observe the Sabbath throughout our generations. Are we still generating? We still having the kids. We still having families. Because we just made laws of God. That's right. For a perpetual covenant. So we supposed to keep the, the Sabbath day as a perpetual covenant. Hey, go to um, Leviticus chapter, I mean, Acts 35 verse 3. So there's, there's no cooking on the Sabbath day. So that means whatever you want today, you should have cooked it yesterday. Right. You know, so read. Exodus chapter 35 verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire. So kindle no fire means cooking. Nothing on the stove, nothing in the microwave. Read. Throughout 
your habitation. Go out your houses. So there's no cooking on the Sabbath day. Hold that. Go to Nehemiah 10 verse 31. No. no there's also no bond on the Sabbath day. That's you know, good. these commandments are not hard to keep. The Bible says these commandments are not grievous. Huh? No, no buying. No buying or selling. No working. Read. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wear and any visual, wear and visuals pretty much like merchandise. So brother came up here trying to send me some oranges, trying to send me some fruit or some wine. I wouldn't buy it. Read. On the Sabbath day to sell that we should not buy it of them. No, that we should not buy it on them. That we should not buy it of them on the Sabbath. Yeah, see, our forefathers, our forefathers knew the commanders. But we forgot, we forgot the commandments. The Bible said we, we should remember the Sabbath day. So we know there's no, no buying, selling, working. Hey, go to um, Hosea chapter 4 verse 1. Because you said that we're not progressing. The reason we're not progressing is because God has a problem with us. You know, these so-called pastors is not teaching the laws according to the Bible. You know, they teach um, prosperity preaching. You know, you plant this seed, you get blessed. You know, they, they, they do like a, they, 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 they will lay hands on you and heal you. But that's the problem with the Most High God. Read Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Read. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Most High God so called blacks and Spanish named Mercs to hear his word. Read. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. The Most High God has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. He, he has a problem with the inhabitants right now, Memphis, Tennessee. He has a problem with the inhabitants of Atlanta, Georgia. He has a problem with the inhabitants of Israel throughout the nation. Read. With the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth. There is no truth. Hey, hold that. Give me Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. There's no truth in our land. These so-called parents is not is not um keeping the it's not uh giving us the truth. I mean, um Psalms 119. Give me the truth. The truth is these laws, studies, and commandments. You know, this is not getting preached in our communities. That's why we're killing each other. You know, that's why we populate the poorest areas. We got the, the poorest education system. Poor housing. There's no truth in our land. Read. Psalms chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. So the law is the truth. These laws, studies, and commandments are the truth. That's what's not in our community right now. Go back to Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Read. It says, because there is no truth, nor mercy. There's no mercy. We don't care about each other. You know, my brother robbed me. I robbed him back. We, we have no mercy. We commit. We, we avenge each other. We, we go out and seek revenge. But that's a sin according to the Bible. We're going to go over that too, bro. Hey, Rick. Nor knowledge of God in the land. No knowledge of God in the land. Knowledge according to the Bible is these laws, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. Hey, go to Malachi 2, verse 7. Like these pastors, they everybody going, they that's gonna go see tomorrow is not preaching according to the Bible. Right. There's no knowledge. I go to an old church up here on uh I, well, I used to go to a church up there on Night Arnold. You know, I was there for all my life pretty much. These laws that come out. The pastor here he he'll read a couple of scriptures and then talk about his life. How he grew up in Mississippi, how the how the spirit came across him to go preach his people. But it don't work like that. You know, you're supposed to be teaching the laws of the Bible according to the Bible. That's right. Read. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7 For the priest's lips Should keep knowledge he says The priest's lips, the so-called pastors These ministers shall keep knowledge Right, you told Stephen the oracles of God According to the Bible Read. And they should seek the law At his mouth yeah, the, the people, the so-called blacks and Spanish We should be seeking the law at these priests' mouth Hey, go to uh, Go back to Hosea chapter 4 verse 1 Read Hosea chapter Four and verse two, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. He named all those sins. All those sins are going on in our community. And the Most High God has a problem. There's a controversy with that. And if any says blood touches blood, that's going into black on black crime. Go to Leviticus chapter 19 verse seven. Because uh, we was watching the news and we, we read that two brothers got killed over there this past week, right? Yesterday, you know, if uh, if our people told this Bible, things like this would happen. According, to, you know what I'm saying? That's right. We, I, Bring it out. This is uh what August the uh, 20, 27th. We're over like 140 some murders in the city right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? 
And most of it is black on black crime. But if we follow this Bible, those rapes will be how it is. Read Leviticus 19, verse 17. Read. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. The Bible says we should not hate our brother in our heart. The reason why we kill each other because we hate each other. Right. I love you, brother. I love these brothers up here. I love you because I'm, I'm telling you about this Bible. I'm out here correcting my people. We are here telling our people who they are according to the Bible. There's love according to the Bible. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We're supposed to rebuke our neighbor. We're supposed to correct our neighbor. That's right. You know, whatever those two brothers had going on, or uh, the issues they had with the brother that, or since they killed them, that should have been corrected. You know, instead of correcting our brothers, our, well, instead of correcting our brothers, we go out and, and get an R.I.P. t-shirt. You know, R.I.P. John, R.I.P. Lil Mark. Fr yeah, free JoJo, free Mario. Brother, they correct them. We backwards as a nation. Read. And not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. You see, those brothers got killed. Man, God forbid these the people or his or the family of those folks that got killed help go, hold a grudge or go out of bitch because that's sin according to the Bible. Right. We're supposed to correct our brothers to avoid all that. But the reason why we don't do that because we, we the reason why we doing that because we disobey God. Go to um, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. You know, the most high God gave us blessings for obedience and curses for disobedience. The blessings were supposed to be eternal life in his kingdom. And the, and the curses is cursed in the city, you know, going to slavery, our names be changed. Right. We'll know who we are according to the Bible. Those are the curses. Right. Read. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these things. He says your iniquities, our sins, have turned away your blessings. Go to any black person throughout the city, you ask them, how you doing? I'm blessed, highly favored. How are you blessed when you live in the worst part of the city? Right. How are you blessed when we go on to our enemy for one of all things? How are you blessed when your brothers are killing each other? We're not blessed. We are a cursed nation, according to the Bible. Yeah. Read. And your sins have withholding good things from you. It says our sins have withholding good things from us. Do you know what sin is, according to the Bible, based on what we read? Uh, uh, a failure of those, those commandments. Right. We're going we to ask with the Bible. We're going to tell you what sin is, according to the Bible. Read. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So whoever commits sin is transgressed to the law, which means to break another law. Like if you break, if you bought on the Sabbath day, you're in sin. If you walk in the house without your friend, you in sin. If you shave your beard, you in sin. If you shave your head, you in sin. Those are com those are some of the commandments we supposed to keep. But if you uh, break those commandments, you are in sin, according to Bible. And that sin is um is keeping us in our current condition. I go to Second Corinthians thirteen verse five because what we do is we like to blame the white man, we like to blame the man, but we did this to ourselves. We have to look in the mirror and examine ourselves. You know, we can't blame anybody else. The Most High God gave us the, the, uh, the commandments. He gave us his vow. We went against his will. Uh, go to 2 Corinthians 13, verse 5. Read. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Read. Examine yourselves. This is the commandment. So we have to look at ourselves. Okay, man, we got all this crime in our community. This has been going on for hundreds of for, uh, for years. Since we've been coming up, everybody out here around the same age. Since we've been coming up, it's been the same thing over and over again. That's we have to wonder why. Because we are God's chosen people. We have to remember who we are according to the Bible. We go back to these laws, studies, and commandments. We have to examine ourselves. You got any more questions or anything, bro? Uh, that's about up, man. Okay, are I you... I mean, do y'all practice anywhere? Yeah, we have a school located at 1660 Muller Park. Is it on here? Yeah, the address is on there. We meet on the Sabbath day at 1230. Yeah, 1660? No, 1660 Muller Park. It's over there going toward like the Glenview. It's between uh, South Harbor and Lamar McClain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go to um. Okay. Yeah, go to Amos. Go to Amos 3 and 1. So God has a select people. You know, read. Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Most high God is talking to you. He wants the so-called black to spread Native American Native Americans to his word. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up 
from the land of Egypt, saying, So the Most High God brought us out of Egypt. Read. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So out of all the nations on the earth, Most High God is going to deal with us. That's why we get killed in the streets. That's why we pop at the poorest areas. That's why we don't know who we are, of course, about because Most High God deal with us. Only we were given the Bible. We were given the law, statutes, commandments, right. and the judgments. Right. Right. Read. You only have I known out of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. That's why we're going to curse this. Most High God is punishing us for our iniquities. You know, but just because we're getting cursed, don't think that we are a, a lesser nation. You know, because we are a great nation called the Bible. Go to Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. You know, because what we are here to do is to build up our people. You know, we come out, we show you your sin, we rebuke you, we correct you, then we build you up. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So called blacks and Spanish Native Americans, we are an holy people, which means we are a set apart people according to the Most High God. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. So we are a special people. The Most High God chose the so called blacks and Spanish Native Americans to be a special people. But we fell from that when we disobeyed his word. Read. God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. We are a special people unto God. So, we're really minority, no, we 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 gonna, we gonna go to that. But we are the majority. This right here. It's not just the blacks, just the blacks, Native Americans, and the Hispanics. No, right. we come I mean, in relation with the majority, but we really minority as far as like yeah, according to according to Esau. Yeah. yeah, according to Esau's census, but we come up these these twelve tribes. Right. Go back to, uh, read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Yeah, most High God chose us to be a special people unto himself. Read. You say we, we were the minority? This is right here. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth, the Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in numbers. So most High God didn't choose us because we were more than everybody. So it don't matter if we're the minority or the majority. He didn't love us because of that. You know? Read. For ye were the fiercest of all people. So we were the fiercest of all people, but, it, but he didn't choose us because of that. He didn't choose us because we, we were more than everybody. He chose us because we're his seed from the beginning. Right. Hey, hold that and go to um, Second Andrews, chapter 6. You know, because everybody comes from Adam. You know, all nations come from Adam. You know, but God has a one select people, the so-called blacks, Spanish, Native Americans. Right. You know, so what we do is, is we go out and teach our people. You know, this is love. You know, and hopefully you brothers will come to the school. Y'all gonna do the same thing. Go to Second Ezra chapter um, six, verse fifty-four. Bring it on. Second Ezra chapter six, verse fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou mayest, made his Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all. So the Bible says we all come from Adam. You know, the so-called white man, the so-called Arab man, so-called Chinese man, the so-called black man. We all come from Adam, right? Right. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. It says the people whom most High God chosen, the so-called black, Spanish Native Americans. That's he chose right. 12 tribes of Israel. We all came from Adam. You get that, right? Yeah. All right, read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Well, the Bible says the world is made for our sakes. That's right. You know, the sun rises and falls because of us. Right. That's right. You know, the, the world is made for our sakes, the so-called blacks, the Spanish Native Americans. Read. As for the other people. As for the other people, they also come from Adam, the so-called whites, the so-called Arabs, the so-called Chinese man. Right. As for the other people, listen to this, read. Which also come from Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. That's right. Read it again. Thou hast said that they are nothing. So what did God call the other nations? What did God call the so-called uh, white man? Nothing. What did God call? What did God call the so-called Chinese man? What did God call the so-called Korean man? What did God call the so-called Arab man? They are nothing. What it's about? Right. But be like unto. Spittle. Most high God compared to so called other nations to spittle. No, spittle is right. Spit. Spit. So they're like spit, according to the Bible. They're nothing. Free. And have likened the abundance of them unto a drop 
that fall it from a vessel. So you say we the majority, they're the majority, but the most high God like it's gonna put us up here and say it's water that falls from a vessel. If you have a bottle of water, a bottle of Gatorade, and a little drip all of it, would you care about that? No, that's how God feels about these other nations. That's right. right. So the matter that we the minority, it that God has chosen because of that. You know, we are God's chosen people. Right. You know, and the other nations are nothing according to God. Hey, watch it still. So remember that y'all are God's chosen people. We have um commandments to live by. Shalom, this I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.